affected by the funeral home tragedy are meeting with victims assistance advocates tonight. They're trying to balance their grief over losing a loved one with the need for answers about whether their loved ones are involved. Cardio News Channel 13 Scott Harrison is also at the Return to Nature Funeral Home in Penrose tonight where that investigation is in its third day. Scott. And the families who trusted this funeral home tonight are struggling to understand why someone would do this. Tonight, too overcome with grief, those families say that they haven't learned much new information today. But tonight, law enforcement is encouraging those families who think their loved ones are here to come forward. Our hearts go out to everyone impacted by this tragedy and we will take every measure possible to get families the answers they deserve. A promise from Fremont County Coroner Randy Keller and a message of hope to the 115 families who have loved ones among the bodies found in the Return to Nature funeral home. That process continued Friday with the on-scene investigation and with the opening of a victim's assistance center in Canyon City. The coroner was among the authorities who met families there and provided services for them. And the identification process that needs to be completed, this could take several months. As we identify each decedent, families will be notified as soon as absolutely possible. Now affected families can find more information about the Victims Assistance Center and a phone number to connect with authorities. You'll find that information right now on our web story at krdo.com. We're live in Penrose. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.